to life back to reality absolutely we are back to life some of the good agricultural practices uh, we have some agricultural lime but we're now talking about the main crop that will come in 2023 but for that process to take place there has been a and there is an entire remarkable art and science of a sequential process that allows us to get to the place where we're able to have the fruits that we're able to harvest and take to market and that's what we're going to talk about here today what is this beautiful intelligence of how these trees are so uh, like I mentioned the the, 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 the fantastic the, it's a remarkable uh, you know like I say artists I think that's gonna be the name of this video the remarkable art and science of mother nature as she manifests in the form of these fruit trees and that's what greetings 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 back to nature Africa back to nature community back to nature collective welcome to another fantastic beautiful episode right here in the garden of paradise aka also known as back to nature organic farms ladies and gentlemen I think I retired the dancing to several videos ago so those of you who are still fans or were fans of the dancing find some of the old videos or put in the comment section there that you would like us to um, get our dance moves again but what I will do let me bring a little bit of a tune forward some of you might remember this tune back to life back to reality absolutely we are back to life back here on to, uh, YouTube to the YouTube family in the community and all the social media we're back to the reality that only mother nature herself can provide because we are back to nature and you know what drives us what motivates us what moves us is we believe the closer we are to nature the more proximate, proximate we are to nature the more whole happy at peace at ease we are when we move away from nature we become denatured isolate ourselves from nature we move into a state of dis-ease which is the opposite of ease and where the word disease comes from and so with that ladies and gentlemen we're back with another powerful beautiful uh, enlightening episode here today and we're going to talk about something super super fascinating because when mother nature starts to reveal her secrets starts to reveal the intelligence that permeates you know a farm or an orchard in this case it's just something to uh, behold to say the least right so we want to ask everyone that's out there to please go ahead like comment share all the good stuff that we do here on social media and we want to thank everyone for continuing to engage with us continuing to share this journey adventure and experience and we are always happy to come back uh, with further chronicles documenting what's happening here on the farm and always never forgetting always giving thanks for life an attitude of gratitude for continuing breathing continuing heart is pumping you know we do not take life for granted no day is promised to anyone and therefore each day is a gift it is a present and ladies and gentlemen we're going to talk about something that's a present here on the farm and that over the last few weeks has emerged that has us smiling that has us happy yes we had gone through harvest you might have seen that in the last video you can check that out uh you know 
know, the harvest season we went through here. You've seen the pruning, all those other things. And ladies and gentlemen, we are already seeing the fruits that will come forth for next season. I mean the next harvest season down the line. So when we're going into March and April of 2023. So when you saw the last video that had the actual fruits that we had harvested and others that are still, you know, I mentioned we're getting a bumper harvest, uh, wasn't the main crop, but now second, third, uh, with few trees that still have some fruits that we'll be getting on. But we're now talking about the main crop that will come in 2023. But for that process to take place, there has been a, and there is an entire remarkable art and science of a sequential process that allows us to get to the place where we're able to have the fruits that we're able to harvest and take to market. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. What is this beautiful intelligence of how these trees are so, uh, like I mentioned, the, 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 the fantastic, the, it's a remarkable, uh, you know, like I say, art and, I think that's going to be the name of this video. The remarkable art and science of Mother Nature as she manifests in the form of these fruit trees. And that's why I chose to shoot here today, at least I'm going to either point on this side or that side, because it has a few of what we're going to point out today and what we're going to talk today. And we're also going to be joined by someone who you guys know uh, has been a uh, stay here on this particular channel. His knowledge and wisdom has just been um, a priceless, to say the least, for what we've been doing here at Back to Nature Farms. So let me grab the camera. Let's go ahead and get in today's, uh, today's episode and get a chance to delve into this beautiful aspect that Mother Nature has uh, and actually is putting on a show. So we are here, you know, we always sort of try to locate the solar water tower that we have there. Uh, this is phase two block, um, block A in that regard. So what I'm trying to show and what we're gonna focus on here is this process that the trees go through if you look to the tip and the top of the trees uh, just move around here you'll see that there is a yellowish um, sort of growth at the top of the tree and these are the flowering and these flowers um, actually end up eventually becoming small fruit so you might look at the fruits that are on the tree here in that regard that come from the flowers so that is what we're going to be discussing on today's episode so let me have a chance to come and meet up and join with our good friend our good buddy our good colleague uh who is just uh we're grateful to have his uh, presence, his knowledge, his wisdom, and all his contribution that he's allowed to happen on this farm. And we're standing right next to one of these trees that we'll be discussing today. Greetings, Mr. Mungai, Greetings. farm manager extraordinaire. How are you doing today, sir? Not bad. Fantastic. Well, we're here for another powerful, enlightening episode. We have been able to show our community and family what goes into when it comes to grafting and choosing scions. We uh, had a wonderful episode here on pruning the trees and then we went to harvest. But now what we want to talk about, Mr. Mungai, is what these trees are putting on. You can almost call this an avocado show. It's Mother Nature putting on a fantastic show. And what are we looking at here, Mr. Mogai? Okay, we are now in November, uh, September. We are in September. This is the time when avocado produces flowers. You can see a lot of them. We have flower buds. So starting off by flower buds showing up. Yeah, flower buds. This will develop 
and become fruits at around March. March 2023. So once you're looking at this stage, we can then, you mentioned we're in September here, then we can project out that around March uh, of next year, we now are, that's what is going to produce the fruits that we will be looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that we'll be harvesting. Yes. Okay. But we have already, the ones which have opened up, Already they have started producing thin head size uh, fruits. Okay. Bead size fruits. Yes. This will be ready at around February. February. Okay, so let's now, Mr. Mugai, when we're looking at these magical trees, and I'm, I'm gonna, go, gonna title this episode, The Remarkable Art and Science of the Intelligence and the Sequential Process that allows for us to get to where we have harvest. So you mentioned um, that now we start to have these buds that show up. At what particular point in time, as it goes into the flowering, because this is where bees are very important, uh, that come in and the pollination, and we do have some other, these trees are primarily uh, Haas avocado trees. However, we do have some fuerte trees here that allow for cross-pollination. So speak about how it turns from a bud into a flower and then even going into those pin head size uh, fruits that we were looking at. Okay, okay. Right from the flower bud. Okay. Then the flowers will open up like this one. This one has already opened up. This one. Uh, another one has opened up. Another one here. Uh, so that's what we then are looking for, for the flower to open up. Yeah. Once it has opened up, okay, pollination will take place. Pollination takes place. With the aid of bees. With the aid of wonderful bees. Bees of Mother Nature. Yeah. So after pollination, the petals will fall. Petals will fall. Okay. You can see this one is falling apart. Okay. Then you have a pinhead size fruit. You have a pinhead size fruit. This one. Okay. So that one keeps on uh, developing. Okay. This is a bead bead size. Uh, goes to the bead. Bead size. And you, you can see m many more on the bead size. Looking up, going up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, there also is some aid that is given to the trees to assist the trees uh, in this pr sequential process. When it comes to nutrients, when it comes to micronutrients, when it comes to watering, and what we call here, Back to Nature Farms, TLC, Tender Loving Care. So let's talk about that because when we get the flowers here and those fruits, the pin head that go into the beads, uh, if the tree does not have, or if it's a deficient uh, of certain particular nutrients and vitamins all the good stuff just like a human body then it aborts those particular uh, those fruits so in that this is where some of the foliar comes in and the application of certain things like zinc uh, magnesium uh, the boron so let's just talk about what needs to be in terms of uh, how do we aid the tree at being most productive, including when we're talking about even at the base and feeding the roots system to make sure uh, that it also has the right amount of uh, f uh, food and energy to be a very dynamic and powerful uh, tree that we want it to be. So to start with, just before the flower buds have developed, flower buds, yes, you have to apply manure, well decomposed compost manure. We call it bolea here. Yeah, just okay. before the flower buds. Okay. Once the flower buds have developed, yes, from flower buds to bead size, yes, up to golf size fruits, yes, 
the three requires a lot of uh, potassium. Okay. Zinc. Zinc. And boron. And boron. Boron is very very important because it, 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 it makes the tree to retain the, the flowers. Uh, the tree, so it doesn't abort yeah. and it keeps the flowers in a way that will produce more fruits. Yeah. So from the the flower bud uh, stage, yes, you have to have a, a well planned program okay. where you apply potassium nitrate, okay. zinc sulfate. Okay. And soluble, soluble, which is boron. Boron. Yeah, all of them at the rate of uh, 50 grams in 20 liters of water. Ah, uh, so that application, which we so source it from a sort of biological based, yeah. uh, then we come and apply them in a way that will then also assist this tree. Now, also when it comes to lime, sometimes we found when we did the soil analysis that there was some acidity in the soil uh, and so lime application uh, if gypsum is necessary talk, touch, touch a little bit about the soil as well that supports uh, uh, what you um, amend the soil on top of the bolea on top of the compost well decomposed compost in our last soil analysis here we found that soil is uh, slightly acidic and therefore we shall require lime not gypsum. Yes. Gypsum is used when the soil is uh, alkaline. Alkaline. So in our case, we shall use uh, lime. Just before the onset of the rains, we, we, sh we shall apply 100 grams per, per tree. Per tree. Yeah. Okay. 100 grams per tree. <coughs> and then during the onset of the yes. rains, we have to apply borax. Base application. Yes with the rains during the onset of the rains okay yeah okay now with that uh, on top of that we are we also going to start moving into greater mulching uh you know with the trees to maintain the moisture some of the Good agricultural practices. Uh, we have some agricultural lime that we recently applied here to the orchard. Uh, you guys know we're big on orchard management. Uh, you may have seen that we had previously recorded some of the beautiful art and science of the budding and flowering and being that we had tested our soils uh, our soils had come back slightly acidic and therefore the application and the soil amendment um, of agricultural lime allows for the correction of the acidity in the soil that then will allow these trees to go through this beautiful process of the flowering then you start to see the fruit setting as the buds come and uh, and get a chance to start producing uh, fruit. So, say the short preview here of the lime application in the orchard these fruits have emerged and how it's not aborting at a high rate and it's producing talk about now fruit set and how fruit set works or in terms of some of the the art and science of um, fruit setting when it comes to dealing with avocado trees 
Okay, during the fruit set, you can see this one. It has a lot of uh, fruit. <coughs> this is because we have our, uh, we have a very strict program on foliar application. Every fortnight, we have to apply that combination of potassium nitrate, zinc sulfate, and soluble. Soluble is a zinc. It's a, a boron, actually. Yes. That combination, if you do it fortnightly, it will protect your fruits from falling. You can see all these are very intact. Very, very intact. And quite many in number. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so very good. If you keep uh, that program, yes. you will be able to retain all this production. Correct. Yeah. And, 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 and with the interesting times we're going through, and even with climate change, it uh, has been interesting uh, in this part of the world, uh, and no part of the world is spared from climate change and what's going on here. We have the trees that uh, at times get stressed. So let's talk about the stressing of trees. And when, tree, when the tree gets stressed, uh, what does it tend to do? And does that impact how the tree and the orchard develops and particularly this sequential process uh, of bearing um, the buds, flowering, and then going into uh, fruiting, you know, fruit set, etc. Just like coffee and oranges, avocados. <coughs> also, if you stress them just before the, the flower bud uh, production, okay. you stress them, you just deny them irrigation okay. for some time until they are stressed, then you irrigate after a certain, a certain time of, uh, a certain period of uh, stress. Okay. Then you irrigate at once. It will tend to produce a lot of flowers. Mm. Even coffee farmers are doing like that. Yes. Coffee farmers, oranges, even uh, avocado is the same. The same way. Is the same. And once again, the more flowers and then the ability to get the right nutrients, micronutrients, will then have the ability for to maintain or produce more fruits. Yeah, after you stress them, then water, yes. it will produce a lot of flowers, then you start feeding. Then you start feeding it. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, well, Mr. Mugai, that is what we wanted to cover in our uh, show here today. Um, the, it's, the avocado, Mother Nature is putting on a, a show in the form of this avocado uh, process, a sequential process that produces um, these fruits after a given period of time. But I just wanted to make sure that uh, we're able to have a clarity about the sequential process that leads to the harvest that we get and from the budding the flowering um the fruits that start to onset you know etc and so uh that's all we wanted to cover here on today's show thank you for being able to share uh your uh insights on this particular process any last word on dealing with uh flowering um application of nutrients um etc in saving uh, any of the, the, the fruits from, and, and by the way, this tree is just doing so wonderful because when you look up here and you come and you see much of the, the flowers and, and the fruits in the early days, just very, very beautiful. So any uh, closing last words as we write, wrap up for today, sir? Yeah, don't forget about watering. I didn't mention about that one. Water during the dry spell. Thank you. Asante Sana. With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Once again, uh, hopefully we are bringing some valuable content and information that empowers your life. As a matter of fact, we in the next few weeks will be launching something called Grow Your Food, Grow Your Mind, Grow Your Life. The farm, farming, agriculture has revealed some immense lessons about life that is not just applicable on the farm 
but can be applicable in each and every one of our lives that we can learn from uh, when Mother Nature reveals her beautiful secrets in her art and science. So we want to thank you for continuing to tune in. God bless you all. Don't hesitate. Take a few steps towards nature because when you take a few steps towards nature, nature takes a few steps towards you. Don't hesitate. Like, comment, share this particular video and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and with that take care peace and blessings and may your life also flower and be a you bear many fruits for wonderful happiness peace and harvest uh, peace and happiness harvest take care bye bye Oh